Do you consider yourself a trader or an investor or both? Definitely a trader. Investing's for all people and for people long term. I, I hate this idea that we're told to invest for your future, your pension. For my generation, a millennial, you know, they don't, it doesn't exist. What, you know, what pension am I going to get? It doesn't make any difference. You, know, you can get your 4 or 5% you know, by investing in this, that and the other. Fine, do that. But the real money is made intraday trading, you know, making your money work for you, having an amount of capital, going in and taking these opportunities. You know, FTSE can go from here to here. You, know, you can make 1,000 points. You can make 10,000 points doing that. For me, it's, a, it's an absolute no-brainer. Generational thing, maybe. But um, for me, inv investing is... So it's a different mindset and it has a different place in the modern world. Investing it still has to be there. You know, future proofing, forward planning, that's great. But you want to make some money. Do you have any certain times that you like to trade? Yeah, I guess trading's pretty kind of, um, it, it lends itself to data, it lends itself to times of the day. I mean, the whole point is I don't try and trade the opens anymore because I don't have the amount of money that it needs to trade the open. I'm not Goldman Sachs, you know, I have a big account, but it's not big enough to take on the market. So I let the big guys do whatever they want. And I'm just a little fish. I just get in and take my bit. So start trading at nine in the morning, maybe trade around, you know, the US data, you know, half past one, the cash open. And then generally five o'clock when people are just getting out of positions and finishing for the day. You know, people that trade the markets are just, just guys. They've got families, you know, nine to five. So the working day lends itself to the economic calendar and you know, really the people that trade the markets. Do you avoid certain times of the day? Definitely, yeah, the open. The open has been one of the most stressful times in my life and I just always thought, get in, get in, make some money, make some money. But it's not, it's don't lose the money. Don't start the day down. I could always make money in the afternoon, but if you start the day, you know, a couple of grand down, it, it, it changes the way you think. So yeah, stop trading the open, leave that for somebody else. Start trading from nine o'clock onwards. And that's, that's, that served me well. What mediums do you use to trade? Mediums. Like betting, futures. Oh, right. I mean, again, I just I stick to the indices. I stick to the indices and FX, things that I know about. I don't trade, you know, um, the, the kind of Asian markets because I don't understand Asian mentality. I don't understand Asian people. Well, not to say that I don't understand it. Of course I do. That's my job as an economist, as a trader. But I stick to things that I know about, that I read about, I'm interested in. So things like the FTSE, you know, the, the cable, euro dollar, gold. Everybody knows about these things. And I have my opinions. And my opinions, again, I don't get too fixed on them because opinions are for investing. I'm market neutral. I buy when it goes up, I sell when it goes down. I'm not trying to be right. One of the kind of main quotes I always use in trading is, it's not about being right, it's about making money and trading at the right time. That's what it's all about, it's making money, the P and the L. It's not about this idea that you're right, you know, standing down the pub or with your mate at the golf club going, oh, well, I bought the footsie here and I sold it there. Again, it's old mentality. I want to be in a trade for 30 seconds, a minute. You know, 30 minutes for me is a long-term trade. The more you're involved in the market, the more risk you're taking. I want to be in, take my money, get it out. Simple. That's my philosophy. So saying that, what kind of trader are you then? How would you define yourself? Are you a swing trader, momentum trader? I love this question. It doesn't make any difference. If you're involved in the markets for a short period of time, you're a scalper. You can read this book, that book, you know, listen to webinars, makes no difference. If you're involved with the markets for a short period of time, you don't hold overnights, you're a scalper. Simple as, that's what I am. Do I pick tops and bottoms? Yeah. Do I momentum trade? Yeah. Do I do breakouts? Yeah, I do everything. I don't mind, I'm not, I'm not particularly fussy. Again, I'm not interested in being right, I want the cash. So I just concentrate on what makes me money and that's things like Fibonacci, tying my Bollinger Bands, boring stuff. Boring, boring, boring stuff. That's what I do, but I do it consistently I do it well. That's how you make money. How actively do you trade? Very actively. I mean, I'm, I'm in and out. I mean, that, that's the whole point. I can do one trade a day. I can do 10 trades a day. When you're trading the kind of size I do, it doesn't make any difference. You know, I can make two, three, four pips. I'm a happy man. As long as it's green, I don't cut. Um, what is your average trade size? It really does vary. I mean, I, I go up to, you know, average positions of, you know, over a thousand pounds a point. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm big time or whatever, but what people don't tell you about trading is to make money. You have to trade size. You know, none of this kind of, again, it goes back to investing. If you want to hold a position at a pound a point and chase it 200 ticks, well, that's great, but that's an investing mentality. I want to be making three, four, five, 10, 20 pips on a thousand pounds a point, happy days. You know, that's, that's the way it works. That's, and that's why you need the account size. All these statistics that 95% of spread betters don't take the money out of their account, this, that, and the other. 
Well, when you Google things, this is what I'm you know, trying to do you know, my books, my webinars, is they try and, the world tries to tell you a mindset and people Google it and believe it. If you set your risk to one or 2% of your capital as a stop, you will get stopped out. Stop grabbers, pin bars, short squeezes, they're all designed by institutions to stop out retail traders. So they're already telling you wrong before you start. If you invest or trade with money you can afford to lose, you've already lost it. So put more money in the account and then set the amount of money you're willing to lose based upon that. If you start on a trading account with 500 pounds, all you're gonna do is lose it. 